what's cooking guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I am making my easy warm apple crumble pie it's the perfect combo of apple pie and apple crumble together in this union so keep watching for the super easy recipe subscribe to my channel so you can join me in my kitchen twice a week and now let's get baking So first, let's start with preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While my oven heats up, I'm going to just prep everything else. I have four apples here, so about one pound of apples, and you can use any type of apple you like, and I'm just peeling them all here. After they are done peeling, I'm going to slice them up, so cutting them in half first, then removing the core and cutting them into fairly thick enough slices. I don't want to cut them too thin where they'll just disintegrate after the pie bakes. I want to see the slices of apple in the pie as well. Transfer all the sliced apples into a large bowl as you cut them. Now to make the filling, I'm going to add half a cup of granulated sugar to the apples I just sliced. Then I'm adding a pinch of salt. Zest from one lemon. And my lemon did not want to zest properly. Then take the lemon and squeeze half of it in there. This will add a tangy flavor but also prevent the apples from turning their color. Then add in some flour. I put in about one tablespoon. Then some cinnamon is a must for apple pie. I'm using one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then grate in fresh nutmeg. This will add a different warmth of flavor in addition to the cinnamon. Then mix this all up with a spatula. Coat the apples with the rest of the ingredients. and then you can set this aside for now. To make the crumb topping, let's start with some flour. I have about three quarters of a cup that I'm adding into a medium bowl here. Add in one third of a cup of brown sugar. I'm using dark brown here. You can also use light brown sugar, guys. Then add in some cinnamon. I used about one teaspoon again. And a pinch of salt to offset the sweetness. And then add quarter cup or four tablespoons of butter that I cut into these small pea-sized pieces. Make sure to put the butter in the freezer for about 10 minutes before cutting it. It will make it so much easier to cut it when it's icy cold. Then I'm just going to mix this up with my hands. And I'm using my hands because I want to break the butter pieces further to coat them with the sugar and the flour. And the warmth of my hands will help to break them into smaller pieces more easily. Mix this up really well to resemble crumbs. And after you're done mixing this up, it will look like wet sand from the beach. Once it looks like that, the crumb topping is done. I'm going to put this in the fridge till I'm ready to top it on the pie. For the pie crust, I'm going to be using this Pillsbury pre-made pie crust. I like to make my own crust sometimes too, but I'm showing you the easier, more convenient pie recipe today. 
And for that, this pre-made one will make your life so easy in the kitchen. And this is what it looks like still in the package. So I'm using one of the pie crusts and put it into my nine inch pie dish here. And you can just roll this out into the pie dish and it's super duper easy. Make sure to press the crust down to the edges of the pie dish. If the crust is hanging over your pie dish, you can cut the edges or you can crimp them together so it doesn't hang over. And now all the apple pie filling will go in there. I feel like I didn't have that many apples in there, so you can use more. But I used up all the apples that I had. Just spread out the filling in there evenly. And I'll top it with the crumbs mixture we made earlier. I'm going to top the whole mixture on it, and the butter pieces you see will melt when the oven heat hits it and it's just going to get a little crunchy on the top and just so good. And once the pie is prepared, put this in the oven for 30 minutes first. Check how it's looking and then you can bake it a bit longer. I baked it for 45 minutes total. And after about 45 minutes, take it out of the oven and let it cool on the stove or on a baking rack till it's warm or at room temperature. Oh my god, this looks so good and the aroma in the kitchen was so warm of the cinnamon and the apples together and too bad I don't have any whipped cream or vanilla ice cream but you already know apple pie and whipped cream or ice cream is the perfect match. You can serve this warm or at room temperature. I hope you enjoyed my super easy recipe for apple crumble pie. Using store-bought pie crust made my life so easy but the homemade apple pie filling and crumb topping just makes it look like you were in the kitchen making this all day. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button to show your support and leave a comment down below if you've tried this before or if you're going to be trying it and also don't forget to subscribe before you leave today you can also follow me on instagram and if you haven't purchased my first e-cookbook yet what are you waiting on you can get it from the link in the description box below i appreciate you for watching i'll see you in my next video guys until then take care of yourselves mm -hmm.